Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Will and in this video I have another anime figure haul for you guys. So this will be my April haul and as you can see behind me I have two figures back there. I have Roxy from Mishoku Tensei. This is her CA Works 1 7 scale. It's actually a re-release and then I have Chizuru from Rented Girlfriend. This is her Good Smile Company 1 7 scale and below those two I actually just got a box in from Japan. I ordered some pre-owned figures from Yahoo Japan Auction and I I got them sent via boat so I wasn't actually expecting these and I don't remember what's in the actual box and that's just because I have like six or seven pre-owned figures that I uh, picked up over the past few months that I got sent via boat so I'm not sure what's in Dick's box I know it's two figures but that's all I really know so we'll unbox it and all be surprised together but without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into it so let's go ahead and start with the pre-owned box from yahoo japan auction all right so here is our first figure it's going to be saber altar by Kotobukiya, this is her 1-7 scale, and I kind of got this figure just on a whim. I think I got it at the same time that I got the um, Saber Alter figure by Alter, the one where she's wearing her dress. I just did it in my last video, actually. And I saw this one, it was pretty cheap at just 8,800 yen, which is like 60 bucks or so. So I was like, you know what, why not? She looks like a badass, and I don't think she'll take up that much space in my collection, so I went ahead and got her. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and get it open real quick. So cool thing is that this is actually a completely brand new figure. It has not been opened yet. <laughs> and this one does come with the option of getting the bonus face, but I saw that online. I didn't really care for the bonus face too much. So I wasn't really stressing it that much. Uh, it does come with like two arms. Like you can either have this pose here where she doesn't have the sword or you can have it with the sword. I'm not sure what person would do it without the sword because this is kind of a awkward pose like this, but yeah, we'll definitely have it with the sword on display. Now this next figure here is gonna be my first Persona 5, the Royale figure. Absolutely love the game, just got finished beating it earlier in the year, and it's gonna be Kasumi, AKA Violet, and this is by Madhouse. I don't think it counts as a you know scale figure, but it has pretty good reviews on my figure collection, so I wanted to pick it up. I actually have a couple of other Kasumi figures on pre-order that are coming out later this year. One by Amiyami and Amakuni, and another one by Fat Company. But I feel like this one was probably the better deal at, like I said, about 16,000 yen, just a little bit more than retail. But I really do like this one. I like it more than the one that's coming out by Amiyami and Amakuni. And I might still pick up the Fat Company one just because she's still wearing her, uh, her school uniform. So I think that's a little bit more unique. So I might pick it up, we'll see. I'm not sure how many figures of Kasumi I really wanna have in my collection, but definitely have to get this one. So let's go ahead and get it open. And what I really like about this figure is all the possible combinations that you can have with it. So you have her with just, you know, her bare face and, you know, the peace sign. And then you have her actually holding the mask over her face. And then you have her with the mask on her face and her holding up the peace sign. So I like those different type of, you know, varieties that you can have with her. I'll probably go with the one where she's holding the mask in her face. Then I kind of get the best of both worlds. I can see the mask and I can see her face at the same time. Yeah, so now that I have her in hand, I'm definitely glad I got this one over, say, the Amiyami Amakuni version of her in her transformed state. I just really like her pose a lot more in this one compared to that one. That one, you know, it's not bad, but that lean really kind of freaks me out just a little bit. And I do like her hair a little bit better, and she does come with a gun in that version but I think she still looks really, really great here. And her base on this Mega House one looks so much better compared to the big gold disc that they have with the Amiyami version. I'm not sure what's up with that, but super excited uh, for this one. I may still get that Fat Company one where she's just in her school uniform, probably you know aftermarket or something like that. Not right away, but yeah, this one looks great. I have some more uh, Persona 5 figures on pre-order and some that I'm looking to buy pre-owned. So yeah, just stay tuned for that. And let's go ahead and jump into our next figures. So this next figure here is going to be Roxy from Mishoku Tensei. Again, this is her 1-7 scale by CA Works. It is a re-release. Um, and I was trying to decide which figure of her that I wanted to get. She has quite a few good figures. And since this one was being 
re-release. I got directly from Good to My Company. It only cost me like 160 bucks with taxes and shipping. So not that expensive for a 1.7 scale these days. So yeah, I was like, why not? Let me go ahead and pick this one up. And I had to give a figure of Roxy because I love me some Mashoku. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it open. All right, so here we have her, and I've just been looking at her for the past few minutes. Really no major complaints. I think she's a pretty good looking Roxy figure. So the first thing is definitely gonna be the pose for me. That's like the main thing that drew me to this actual figure. It's just a little bit more casual compared to some of the other ones that are a little bit more action oriented, I would say. I just like her coming down these steps and you know, just kind of chilling really. And I do like the steps, the base is a pretty nice size. I'm always taking into consideration the size of bases these days just to kind of make sure my collection isn't all over my house and whatnot. But base is pretty cool. I love the little grass and bushes on the side. Nice little touch. The skull paint job, pretty well done. The hair, it's not like too detailed when it comes to like the strands, but it's just, you know, a couple you know, big braids here. It's not too bad, but not great either. And overall, it's a great figure. Now, I mean, the hat itself, this is kind of the problem that I have with figures that have hats is that when they have a hat, it really kind of covers the face a little bit too much and creates shadows and whatnot. So I may have the hat actually kind of tilted up just a little bit, just to get a little bit more light on her actual face. It might not look, you know, perfect, but I think that'll still give me just a better impression when it's in my detolf. Her staff looks pretty cool. No complaints about that whatsoever. And yeah, just overall a dope figure. I can see why it got such high ratings on my figure collection. So the final figure of this video is of course gonna be Chizuru from Rent a Girlfriend. This is her Good Smile Company 1-7 scale that just released. And Rent a Girlfriend is definitely a guilty pleasure of mine. I know it's a bad anime, bad manga, but I just can't help myself. I just enjoy watching the cringe. And yeah, I, we all have that trash anime that we enjoy. This just happens to be mine. In fact, one of my favorite YouTubers, the homie Damien, just did a video on Went to Girlfriend trying to defend it for 10 minutes. It's it absolutely hilarious. Uh, perfect timing because yeah, we got this figure now. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get it open. All right, so here she is. And I would have to say Good Smile knocked this one out of the park. It's not like the most complicated figure, but the execution is just very well done. So starting with the overall pose, I'm not sure if this is like based on some artwork. I feel like I've seen it somewhere before, but let me know down in the comments if you guys know if it's based on any artwork or not. I can't remember, but either way, I think she looks absolutely terrific. I love the pose. The facial expression goes perfectly with it. Like she's kind of turning around, maybe a little surprised as like someone's calling her name or something like that. I don't know. But either way, it looks really, really well done. And just the amount of motion that's being captured with like her hair and her dress just look absolutely terrific. Now her outfit. So I'm no fashionista or anything like that, especially when it comes to women's clothing, but I think she looks pretty damn adorable in this outfit. Really do love the dress that she's wearing. The little attention to detail when it comes to the sculpt job is pretty well done as well. Paint job looks absolutely terrific. And then that sweater vest that she's wearing is so damn detailed. Looks like a real knit sweater. Looks so well done. So really good job with that. And just the overall color scheme that she has going on with the purse, how the pink undertones of the dress kind of bring it out and the red shoes. It just all really, really works. Again, not really big into fashion, but it looks pretty damn good to me. Now looking at her face and the hair, I mean, like I said earlier, that facial expression is absolutely perfect for the actual pose that she has. And it looks just like Chizuru, so really good job there. And then that hair sculpt on the back looks so damn good. I mean, just the attention to detail of all the different strands looks so well done. The paint job looks great as well. It goes from like a dark brown to a kind of a lighter brown at the very tips. Not translucent, just a lighter brown. So definitely appreciate that because translucent stuff I'm getting kind of tired of to be honest, but this hair looks absolutely wonderful. So they did a really good job there. Looking at the base here, nothing like too crazy. It looks pretty good. It goes very well with the overall figure in terms of its simplicity. The color scheme that they have here really goes with the official kind of branding of the anime title that you see here on the base itself. So that all looks pretty good. The only complaint is that maybe the base is a little bit too big. I feel like it could be a little bit smaller since she is just kind of just standing straight up. I'm not sure if she needs that big of a base to really support her, but very small complaint because the base itself is not that big. So. Again, very small complaint. So yeah, overall, I feel like Good Smile, again, knocked this one out of the park. It's just really clean execution and just a great figure. Hopefully it's gonna be my last 
my last rent a girl cheesy roof figure, but probably not. Yeah, probably not. So yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll see. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. Easy way to support the channel. I would greatly appreciate it. Sub for more videos because I definitely have a lot more figures on the way. Thanks for watching. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.